It's Terrell Thomas. We live right now to Rick Ross Estate. There States. we are. There we are. And, and today we got something special. Pull up a chair, but we pulling up from we the got Rick nice Ross weather. Estate. You know what I'm saying? It's we beautiful got nice out weather. here. We got nice weather. We got cold bottles. I've seen a lot of attractive ladies. Beyond uh, Cognac is doing uh, incredible numbers. Yes, indeed. Yes, the indeed. The market is expanding as as we breathe right now. More people are waking up to the brand. People are falling in love with the Blue Bel Air. It's a wonderful thing for all of uh, the business partners, me included. You know, in case you didn't know, that's what I'm doing here. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I just didn't wear a suit, but I'm here as a as a business partner. You know what I'm saying? Just smoking a joint and kicking it. Yeah. So we're with the one and only Spitter right now. It's great to see, as you mentioned, you are involved with everything that's going on yeah, with, with yeah. the Bel Air Blue, Belong. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about the business side of things. Not only being an entertainer, but getting getting in on the alcohol business on the business well, side of things. Um, that's really just a nod to two of my big brothers, uh, Ross and, and my brother Brett. They both uh, they both tip their hats to the moves I make independently, and they both honor my decision to uh, not really be in bed with major labels and do shit independently and because of that they knew that trusting a, a liquor brand to me and, uh, and and trusting that I would be able to wave the banner for a brand and carry it as my own and support it the right way they knew that that was a no brainer so you know what I'm saying here we go you know what I'm saying <laughs> This is this is what happens, you know. Outside of the music world, outside of, of course, you being a businessman, you're also big in the world of sports. Yeah, uh, talk to me about what the Pelicans are doing right now. Zion going, moving into a new year. Yeah. Free, what, what free agents would you like to see? And talk to me about Zion. This is well. This is what I'm gonna say. I I don't speak on free agency because I feel like we're just shooting in the air until somebody expresses what they really want to do. I respect that. So I don't like to get married to the idea of somebody coming to our club who's not coming. I can dig that. Uh, Zion, bro, if you want one of the cars out of the warehouse to stay, bro, <laughs> you just got to let us know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. if it's the, it, it could be the Rolls Royce, the Cullinan, the Wraith, uh, one of the vintage Bentleys, or a Lowrider. Just let me know. I'm not tripping, bro. <laughs> You're going to break hearts, man. You know? I want, I, want, I, want every, I want everybody to be happy. Like while they say, I'm rooting for everybody black. You know what I'm saying? But, but man, you're going to break hearts, bro. The crime rate might shoot back up. We've been trying to chill out there in the streets, man. Come on. So we need, we need Zion to stay in a Pelican <laughs> uniform. It's looking like it's going to be a new quarterback this season for the New Orleans Saints, Jameis Winston. Yes, what are do. your thoughts on this new era for the Saints? Everybody's excited. I mean, we we glad that Drew gave us all that he could. And I think that we saw him, we saw him all the way to the extent of his abilities last season. Facts, facts. And with that being said, it wasn't a disgraceful thing. It was, it was kind of like watching 300, and you watch Leonidas go through this whole thing, and he died in the fucking end. So it's like, what the fuck did I watch? But it's like, yo, what it is is he was down to give all he had, and he never thought that he had he. he would miss a step he gave it all you know what I'm saying that's what that means it would have been crazy if he came back this year it was like now let's go I'm ready like that would be that would be killing your legacy but but to go out like that that's that's honorable man that's dying with your boots on for real once again right now we're in a road for pull up a chair Terrell Thomas these are times with the one and only Mr. Currency spit I didn't out know I was gonna get all deep <laughs> and philosophical with the sports like that but that's what happened when you roll that edge ready OG I got, I got one more Just, question for yeah. you and in the music realm. What you working on in the music realm? I, I know I see you back in, in well, the tour life. I'm all the time. Listen to this. Uh, it feels like they might shut this bitch down again. I can understand. I see that as well. So we're going to run around and grab us a few bags before they do. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's that. Outside of, outside of that, the pandemic and quarantine under that affects how I work. I'm, I'm in the studio every day. My engineer not sick. I'm not sick. Fuck it. We gonna work. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. Five songs a night when I pull up. That's it. Dog, thank you for your time once again. Much love. Much love.